जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाध श्रीवासदी घोर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाध श्रीवासदी घोर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगत पते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदानेश्वरी ऋषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चेव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीरे तो श्री राधे गुलुकान भगवान की जय हरे 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 कृष्णा 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 एवरीवन 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 सचिन रवि एंड And happy Ekadashi to everyone. Today uh, Ekadashi is in India. Me, of course, Kal will be there. So there is such an auspicious day to chant and read Sri Mad Bhagavatam. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so far, um, you know, we are on Canto three. Uh, last Thursday we completed uh, Adhyay twenty seven. Yeah. So we completed twenty seventh, and you know, in this particular canto, we have six more chapters to go through, right? And in last chapter, we were reading understanding material nature, and before that, we read fundamentals or principles of material, fundamental principles of material nature. So as we see, you know, Kapil Muni has described how this material nature has been formed, yeah. and then you know starting from all these 24 elements on to uh <clears throat> you know how all the conditioned souls and everything has come into existence and then in the last chapter he was particularly describing the nature of the liberated soul so how what is the nature of material uh binding right how we get binding to the material nature and all these three gunas and then how a liberated soul is possible like how is it possible to have a liberated soul even even though everything is binded by this material nature right and that was the question of mother devuti and kapil muni answered that like by doing the devotional service even though you reside in this material world you can actually be free of the reactions of the material bondage and you can go back to god yeah so that's what we are reading and now we'll start with the uh, 28th chapter which is about instructions on the execution of devotional service like how should one carry out the devotional service the bhakti what's the way forward for that so we'll start with uh, shlok number 1 anil ji <coughs> ji ha shri bhagwan bhagwan uvach योग से लक्षण वक्षे सबीज से नृपात्मजे मनो ये नीधिना प्रसन्न याति सत्पथम द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड सेड माई डियर मदर ओ डॉटर ऑफ द किंग नाउ आई शेल एक्सप्लेन टू यू दिस्टम ऑफ योग द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ विच इज टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट द माइंड प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस सिस्टम वन कैन बिकम जॉयफुल and progressively advance towards the path of the absolute truth hari krishna hari krishna yeah. <clears throat> so sri bhagwan watch is of course who is sri bhagwan here 
Kapil Muni. Kapil Muni, yeah. Kapil Muni, who is none other than Altar of Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu. Yeah. So he's he's speaking to my dear mother, who is the mother Dehuti. Dehuti. Yeah. And she's daughter of the king. Do you remember which king? The first Manu is the, the Manu Shambhu Manu, yeah. Shambhu. So that's how this universe was expanded, yeah. The Kardamuni and Dehuti. So, so Kapil Muni is saying to the mother Dehuti, he's giving the transcendental knowledge, and now. He is saying that he is going to explain the system of yoga, yeah, yoga shya lakshanam, which will help you in concentrating the mind. And if we do that, mano yeneva vidina, then what happens? So prasannam, he says that one can become joyful, and then also progressively advance towards the path of the absolute truth, yati sat patham. That is the absolute truth. So that's what Kapil Muni is going to explain. And it's saying that also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita is that uh, in the last verse of the sixth chapter, like who is the greatest yogi? Right? The greatest yogi is he who constantly <laughs> thinks of Krishna within himself or he who is Krishna conscious. So if you are focused on Krishna consciousness, in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna himself has mentioned that he is the greatest yogi. Yeah, and, and there's a very nice purport here. So let's uh, read this Tarun. <clears throat> it is stated here that by following the system of yoga, one can become joyful. Lord Kapila, mm -hmm. the personality of Godhead, who is the highest authority on yoga, here explains the yoga system known as Ashtanga Yoga which comprises eight different practices, namely Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, and Samadhi. By all these stages of practice, one must realize Lord Vishnu, who is the target of all yoga. There are so-called yoga practices in which one concentrates the mind on voidness or on the impersonal, but this is not approved by the authorized yoga system as explained by Kapil Deva. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna yeah. So what it is mentioning is there first eight types of yoga which people can do to concentrate the mind, right? Like pranayam, having the right asana and so on and so forth, dhyan, meditation, samadhi. But the important part which is being mentioned is by all these stages of practice, one must realize Lord Vishnu. That is a goal. Yeah, that is a goal of the human life. So, Sachin? Even Patanjali explains that the target of all yoga is Vishnu. Ashtanga yoga is therefore part of Vaishnava practice because its ultimate goal is realization of Vishnu. The achievement of success in yoga is not acquisition of mystic power, which is condemned in the previous chapter, but rather freedom from all material designations and situation in one's constitutional position. This is the ultimate achievement in yoga practice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So even today, uh, you must be hearing about the Patanjali, right? Patanjali yoga system, which is the most popular uh, yoga system, actually. And But again, in, in Patanjali, if you read the book, there's a whole Patanjali book, actually, for the yoga system. And that's ultimate goal is, again, realization of Vishnu. And not really about the mystic power. A lot of people misuse it for, and not misuse, but they get those mystic powers and that's what their focus is, which is not really uh, the goal because that is all material. And the real goal is uh, focusing on Lord Vishnu. Ajay? Sure. Swadharma Charanam Shakti Shaktya Vidharmach Niv, niv Nivartanam Devya Labdhen Santosh Atma Vicharana Charnam. 
one should execute his prescribed duties to the best of the abilities and avoid performing duties not allotted to him. One should be satisfied as much gain as he achieves by the grace of the Lord and one should worship the lotus feet of spiritual master. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so Kapil Muni is describing like how a devotional service need to be executed. Yeah. What is the right paddhati of doing the bhakti? That's what he's explaining here. And actually, <clears throat> you know, again, it says again and again that the actual duty of one who is advanced in Krishna consciousness is to serve the Lord. As long as one remains in the bodily concept of life, he may act according to the duties of social convention. But if one is elevated to the spiritual platform, he must simply serve the Supreme Lord. Yeah. So, you know, very important part mentioned here. That is the real execution of Swadharma. So, you know, we can do a lot of charities, we can do a lot of good karma and all that, right? But what he's saying is, if one is elevated to the spiritual platform, like once you become Krishna conscious, then the whole goal is simply serve the Supreme Lord because that's the constitutional position of every living entity, is what is being mentioned here, yeah? <clears throat> And Jyoti? And Sachin? Ramya Dharma Nivrutascha Moksha Dharma Ratastatha Mithe Medhyadanam Shashwadri Vita Kshema Sevanam one should cease performing conventional religious practices and should be attracted to those which lead to salvation. One should eat very frugally and should always remain secluded so that he can achieve the highest perfection of life. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So Kapil Muni is telling us how a devotee ko, uh, and how to execute devotional service. Yeah. Uh, Sachin? Satyame steyam yava yava dartha parigraha brahmacharyam tapa shocham swadhyaya purusharchanam. One should practice non violence and truthfulness, should avoid thieving and be satisfied with possessing as much as he needs for his maintenance. He should abstain from sex life, perform austerity, be clean, study the Vedas, and worship the supreme form of the supreme personality of God. Hare Krishna. And of the highest devotee, uh, what are the characteristics, right? That is what is being uh, mentioned. He said the word Purusha, Purusha Charanam in this verse means worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, especially the form of Lord Krishna. In Bhagavad Gita, it is confirmed by Arjun that Krishna is the original Purush. Yeah? Adi, Aradi, or Personality of Godhead. Purusham Saswatam. Therefore, in yoga practice, one not only must concentrate his mind on the person of Krishna, but must also worship the form of deity of Krishna daily. Yeah. So, like even in the temple, the deity, and also a lot of devotees have the deities at their home. Right. So that's what is being mentioned. Like the focus should be on the Krishna consciousness. Tarun. <clears throat> Monam sad asana jayahe Starhayam prana jayahe saneha Pratah saraha Haras Shendriyana Vishyanemas Manasa Radihi. One must observe silence, acquire steadiness by practicing different yogic postures. Control the breathing of the vital air. Withdraw the senses from sense objects and thus concentrate the mind on the heart. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Uh, Jitendra Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Swadishthaya Nam Ke Deshe Manasa Pranadharanam Vaikuntha Leela Dhyanam Samadhanam Tathatmanam 
fixing the vital air of the mind in one of the six circles of vital air circulation within the body thus concentrating one's minds on the transcendental pastimes of supreme personality of godhead is called samadhi or samadhan of the mind hari krishna hari krishna ha yeah, so i think quite interesting uh, thing mentioned here right is fixing the mind in one of the six circles yeah the chakras this is called chakras of vital air circulation right the pran vayu says here the pran dharana there are six chakras where it says like fix your mind yeah and then vaikuntha leela vidhanam so then what is vaikuntha leela is essentially the transcendental past times of the supreme personality of godhead like we read about lot of avatars of lord krishna lord vishnu and the past times right that's how the mind should be focused and then that is called samadhanam tathamanam Atmanam, yeah, samadhi or samadhan of the uh, mind, and actually it's a nice purport. So let's uh, read this, uh, Anilji. Yeah. <clears throat> There are six circles of vi- vital air circulation within the body. The first circle is within the belly. The second circle is in the area of the heart. The third is in the area of the lungs. the fourth is on the palate the fifth is between the eyebrows and the highest the sixth circle is above the brain one has to fix his mind and the circulation of the vital air and thus think of the transcendental past times of the supreme lord mm-hmm. it is never mentioned that one should concentrate on the impersonal or void it is clearly stated vaikuntha leela leela means past times unless the absolute truth the personality of godhead has transcendental activities where is the scope for thinking of these past times hare krishna hare krishna yes it's so nicely explained that first of all the six circles right i think it's good to know this right you will see like lot of yoga practices and lot of places where they teach the meditation and the self realization process essentially they focus on the chakras yeah so the chakra we starts like below the nabhi yeah nabhi se lekar as you can see the second in the heart the lungs yeah near the jeeb and then the eyebrows and the brain right so those are the six chakras so it says like one has to fix their mind but then the important part is in the meditation you are thinking about the transcendental past times of the supreme lord as it says in the shlok like vaikuntha leela yeah leela means the past times and then again the process is continuously uh, explained uh, jyoti it is through the process of devotional service chanting and hearing of the past times of supreme personality of godhead that one can achieve the concentration i have described in the shrimad bhagavatam the lord appears and disappears according to his relationships with different devotees the vedic literature contains many narrations of the lord's past times including the battle of kurukshetra and historical facts relating to the life and precepts of the devotees like pralada maharaja druva maharaja and ambarshi maharaja one need only concentrate his mind on one such narration and become always absorbed in its thought then he will be in samadhi samadhi is not an attention bodily state it is a state of achieved when the mind is virtually absorbed in thought of supreme personality of god hari krishna krishna so, yeah so i think this is how the samadhi has been described and and the process of devotional service is chanting and hearing the past times of the supreme personality of god and that's what we are trying to do right so all of us are, what what we are trying to do is start with chanting try to focus right and focus on krishna lord shri krishna and radhe rani right and then focusing on listening and reading shrimad bhagavatam right so those are kind of part of and uh, the devotional service and in fact the bhagavatam is the katha about bhagwan and in fact that includes the katha on all the past times 
and activities of Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ajay? By these processes or any of or any other true process, one must control the contaminated unbrindled mind which is always attracted by material enjoyment and thus fix himself in the thought of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Hare Krishna. So Kapil Muni is that how can one start fixing himself in thought of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So those that's what is being uh, described here. Yeah, it says here that um, like a mind cannot be fixed on something which is void or impersonal. For this reason, so-called yoga practices of voidism and impersonalism are not recommended in any standard yoga shastra. The real yogi is the devotee because his mind is always concentrated on the pastimes of Lord Krishna. Therefore, Krishna consciousness is the topmost yoga system. And we also read in the previous uh, shloka, right, where it says that in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 6, yeah, the highest perfection of yoga is, is Krishna consciousness as mentioned by Lord Sri Krishna himself in Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Tarun? Sucho deshe patishthaya vijitasana asanam tasmin swati samshina rut after controlling one's mind and sitting postures, one should spread a seat in a secluded and sanctified place. Sit there in an easy posture, keeping the body erect and practice breath control. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Jyoti? Tanisya Shoda Yama Marga Purusha Kuruko Kurutamba Karecha Kalhi Prati Kulena Cha Chitam Yata Sera Macha Lam. The yogi should clear the passage of vital air by breathing in the following manner. First, he should inhale very deeply, then hold the breath in and finally exhale. Or reversing the process, the yogi can first exhale, then hold the breath outside and finally inhale. This is done so that the mind may become steady and free from external disturbances. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, I see you stram chacharam. Yeah, so which means the pranayam, which is kind of described here, right, will help in keeping the mind focused. Um, and actually, it's uh, pretty interesting to read uh, Sachin. These breathing exercises are performed to control the mind and fix it on Supreme Personality of Godhead. Survey Mana Krishna Padara Vindayo. The devotee Amrisha Maharaj fixed his mind on the lotus feet of Krishna 24 hours a day. The process of Krishna consciousness is to chant Hare Krishna and to hear the sound attentively so that the mind is fixed upon the transcendental vibration of Krishna's name, which is not different from Krishna, the personality. The real purpose of controlling the mind by the prescribed method of clearing the passage of the life air is achieved immediately if one fixes his mind directly on the lotus feet of Krishna. The Hatha Yoga system or breathing system is especially recommended for those who are very absorbed in concept of bodily existence. But one who can perform the simple process of chanting Hare Krishna can fix the mind more easily. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so what it says, all these things of like sitting posture and pranayam are all good and are recommended because 
most of us are like fixed in this bodily existence concept. So all those things help us in focusing on Lord Sri Krishna. But at the end of the day, if our chanting process becomes good and better, right? then that's a simple process and that helps us fixing the mind anyways is what uh, what is being mentioned here right so just leave this anilji ji yeah. <clears throat> practicing the yoga system of exercise and breath control is very difficult for a person in this age and therefore lord chaitanya recommended kratanyaha sadaha Harit, one should always chant the holy name of the Supreme Lord Krishna because Krishna is the most suitable name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The name Krishna and the Supreme Person Krishna are non different. Therefore, if one concentrates his mind on hearing and chanting Hare Krishna, the same result is achieved. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So I think this is kind of the most important thing mentioned here is like. In today's world, right, doing the whole yoga system exercise, do the breath control and do the samadhi, right, is not easy. So that's where Lord, Lord Chaitanya is always chant the holy name of the Supreme Lord Krishna because the Krishna is the absolute, which means there's no difference in the name of Sri Krishna and the Lord Sri Krishna himself. And that's why it's called absolute. Yeah, it's non different. It says here the name Krishna and the Supreme Person Krishna are non different. So when we are chanting Lord Krishna, the vibration, transcendental vibration of Lord Sri Krishna, right, can focus us, concentrate on, on, on Hare Krishna. And then says the same result is achieved without going through the uh, breathing control exercise and all that is what is mentioned here. So, uh, okay, I think we'll pause here. I will continue reading this Shlok 10 uh, tomorrow. Again, Kapil Muni is explaining, you know, how the devotional service should be executed here. So, which is pretty good to know. And so we have two more minutes. And it's Ekadashi, let's hear a Kirtan. Uh, we'll hear a Hare Krishna Kirtan. Okay. And then we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Hare Krishna. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.